Hi everyone. Welcome back to the last vlog of our Ladakh travel series. In the last leg of our trip, we visited one of the most offbeat places in Ladakh, Hanle, a place where the sky is dance. After spending a night in Hanle, we headed towards Somuriri and Kyagar So, two gorgeous lakes nestled in Ladakh. Le to Hanle is approximately 260 kilometers and takes a good 7 hours to reach. The route takes you through Chumathang Valley and you can stop for a quick break to witness the natural hot springs found here. If you are planning a Ladakh trip soon, spending a night in Hanle has to be a part of your itinerary. Keep watching to know why. The entire route to Hanle is absolutely gorgeous, and you will witness something very unique here: the Purple Mountains. These Purple Mountains, which I saw for the first time, will keep you company throughout and are a sight to behold. Hanle is extremely close to the Indo-China border. and hence you will find heavy military presence as you approach this place you'll also have to get a special permit from the lay office to enter hanle and this permit and your id proofs would be checked at multiple check posts hanle is a very small village with limited accommodation options we stayed at the padma guest house a pretty decent homestay that is run by padma aunty and her husband and they are very hospitable and serve really good food as well wo sonam ji observatory mein kaam karte hain ha wo kaam karta hai oxygen mein aap teen hi log rehte hain yahan pe ha hamara abhi to teen hai nahi to hum log char bachcha hai char bachche ha ek beer building mein So, so, After settling in and having a hot bowl of maggi, in the evening we visited the Hanle Observatory, which is remotely operated by the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, all the way from Bangalore. Hanle lies at a pretty high altitude in a rain shadow region, which means it remains dry for most part of the year, and the pollution level here is also very low. Both these factors make Hanle a perfect site for night sky gazing. and this is the reason why it's also home to world's ninth highest observatory given the high altitude of hanle it gets extremely cold here and as the moon was still very bright at 10 pm our host padma aunty advised us that we should sleep early and try waking up at 2 am if you want to see the milky way which is exactly what we did we woke up at 2 am hoping to see at least some stars but the moment we stepped out it was freezing cold but the sky view totally made up for it we could see the entire milky way just with our naked eyes it was unbelievable we stayed outside for almost an hour trying to get some decent pictures of the night sky and i'll show you now what we saw and by the way we also saw at least three shooting stars in that one hour after witnessing hanle's beautiful night sky in that freezing cold the next day we left for our final destination somuriri it takes around 4 to 5 hours to reach somuriri but en route we also stopped at another gorgeous lake kyagar so though kyagar so is a small lake compared to pangong or somuriri but it's a very scenic lake 
as the snow-capped mountains provide the perfect backdrop. So, we have come to Kyagar So. Kyagar So is a lake on the way to Somoriri. Here is Somoriri, which is a much bigger lake. It is just an hour's drive from here. So, we have come from Hanle and it was a lot of off-roading. But, I mean, you can see this. It's a comparatively smaller lake. But it's very beautiful. अलग ही अलग ही लैंडस्केप है इधर चारों तरफ माउंटेन्स और मेडोस टाइप का टाइप का टेरेन है और हम यहाँ पे फिर से प्रयास करेंगे ड्रोन उड़ाने का काफी सुंदर काफी अच्छे व्यूज आएंगे From Kyagarso, it took another one hour to reach Somuriri. We were supposed to stay overnight here, but when we reached the village, everything was shut. And we just got really bad vibes from the hotel we had booked, Hotel Lakeview. The staff here was really rude and we just didn't feel very good about the whole place and the environment. We unanimously decided to return to Lay City the same day and left immediately after quickly visiting the lake. <laughs> Last day of our trip. Last full day of our trip. Last full day of our trip. And we are just relaxing and chilling. Ah, so we are now in the road. We are staying in the road. Yes. The place was good. The place was good. The village or yeah, whatever it was was not great. Why was it not good? Why was it not good? We had expected something else. And here we had ice cream. एक जब से ट्रिप पे आए तब से ठंड में आइसक्रीम ढूंढ रहा है और इसका आज फाइनली आइसक्रीम लास्ट डे अब सर्दी वर्दी हो जाए तो भी चलेगा but lake अच्छा था क्या अगर so and so मुरी दी but place अच्छा नहीं था तो we came back to lake actually we were quite surprised by the in hospitality and lot of places were closed down like lot of restaurants small cafes जो भी था everything was closed down everything was closed कुछ खाने का वैसे खाने maybe it's because of the season I don't know तो हम like actually पहुँचे खाए और हम अपना बोरिया बिस्तर लेके जो भागे हैं वहाँ से and उसके day before day before yesterday हम थे हानले में which was a very good experience even though छोटा सा village था हमारे छोटा सा homestay था पर बहुत ही अच्छा experience था Yes, in Hanle, we were in Hanle, in Padma, in Hanle, we were in Padma, and we were in Hanle, and we were in Hanle, we felt at home. Must, must, Maggi also made it. Yes, it's not that you will not get food, you will get food. Now it's like you feel like it, and now we are walking in Lay Market. We are shopping for traditional handicraft things. And just like that, it was time to say goodbye to the land of high passes after spending 10 incredible days here. Hope you liked our Ladakh travel series and soon we will be back with a new destination. Till then, happy traveling.